Welcome, welcome. Today we will be looking at recursive joins in Google BigQuery. Recursive joins are essentially loops that you can do on your SQL query so that you, for example, if you have an unlimited amount of joins in terms of hierarchies, you have like parents and child elements and you don't know how many you have, you can do a recursive join to unnest all of these things. With this being said, let's go into the problem set so that we can dive deeper into this problem. So for this problem, let's go to the whiteboard first. So let's say there is Jim. Jim has a parent. So Jim has a parent called John. And also, let's say, has a parent called Lisa. And of course, at some point, John has a parent called Kurt. And for simplicity's sake, Let's say Kurt also was a child once, and he was a child of Paul. Let's also do this, meaning that if I would like to see all the descendants of Paul, I would do. I would need to have Kurt. I would need to have John. I would need to have Jim. How normally to do this in a SQL table would be to say a relational data model where it's like child parent and let's say we have Jim here Jim is the child of John John is the child of Kurt and Kurt is the child of Paul so if I now would just look for okay where parent equals Paul I would only get Kurt but of course uh, Kurt has John and John has Jim. So meaning that if we want to have all descendants of Paul, we need to come up with something different. We either join a lot of times and we never know how many joins because there can also be an ancestor to to Paul. But what we can do, and this is something that uh, is only possible with recursive joins, is we can do a recursive join to get all the descendants of Paul or even all the ancestors of Jim. And that's exactly what we're going, what we are going to do now. So, so what we do now is we do create a table that looks exactly like this. And we take Jim as the child of John, John as the child of Kurt, Kurt as the child of Paul. And with this, we just ignore the BigQuery error here, which is saying testing doesn't exist. Still creates the table. And if we now do select all from testing parents, I can see my relation here. So this is very similar to what we had before. It's exactly the same, to be honest. And now we go into the recursive joins. So with this in mind, we have testing parents in here. So this is our level one. So if I now want to see the ancestors of, in this case, Paul or Kurt or John, I would say left join testing parents as level 2 in this case, level 2 and we know that on oops, on level 1 the parent has to be level 2 the child and if I query this I get exactly what I, what I want so there is no parent of Paul because we haven't entered one there is a parent of John which is Kurt and there is a parent of Kurt which is Paul so that looks correct. So since we only do this once, uh, we don't need something to stop, right? So this is only doing it once. So what you need to do then is we don't have to specify a stop condition, but a recursive join is a loop. So we would loop over this data set and join and join and join and join until we have defined an ending. And that's the only difference in, in a nutshell how to say this is a recursive join and this is not a recursive join. So if you want to construct one, I think for me this helps a lot to know actually we're just doing a normal join. And the only thing that differs is to declare a stop condition. There is something that is going to change, which is the output format. So for a normal join, as you can see here, with every additional join, we would introduce new columns. In a recursive join, we still keep the structure of the table and append rows. So we are going from top to bottom with this. 
So now we do the actual recursive join where I say with recursive. And now I have to give it a name. I would say this is the recursive join. And then as similar to your CTE clause, I would now say what I want to select. And in this case, I want to select, of course, the child and the parent. Parent from the testing parents table. And then I have to say union all because we have to union everything there. Um, I would say I would like to have, uh, let's start with this, from. And in this case, I want to take the recursive join table. I would like to join this. So we start with a join because a join always means if there is a null value on the other hand, it's getting dropped. So we have our where condition already or our end loop condition already. So what we can now do is uh, we can join testing the parents on. Uh, so how do we don't want to do this? Uh, we want to have from the recursive join recursive join, we do take the child, now we do take the parent, so we do take the parent, and from the parents table we take the child. And of course like if we if we would execute this we do have we do introduce new columns with this. Um, so the union all wouldn't work. So let's let's do this here quickly. Child so I would say select all from recursive join and I select all this and of course it says union all have a mismatch because we have two columns and four columns so what we need to do now is to say the good um, part here is that I can if I take the recursive join parent and the parent's child then I can just I can just do the opposite here. So I would say recursive, we want to have the child, so recursive join child and parents dot parent. And if everything is fine, I can do this. And now we have our hierarchy. And that's already cool because now we have Paul, knowing Kurt, John, and Jim. And John only has Jim still, and Kurt has John and Jim. And now for the for the super cool part is that I can also introduce new columns, and I can I can introduce the hierarchies. So of course, I don't know I don't know uh, that Paul and Jim. I don't know the relationship. Are they like ancestors? Or is this the, the direct descendant? What I can do here, and this is quite cool with recursive join. I can say. I would say a one is level, right? I could do this, and I can also reference this later on. So I would say level, level plus one as level, and if I execute this, I have something super nice, and I have the hierarchies, right? So I see that Paul is level three of Jim. So there are two people in between before. Jim and Paul are connected. That's quite nice and there are a lot of use cases with this that you can use uh, the SQL for. Like this is only one part and there's another part where you can say I would like to classify customers as a household if they have some sort of connection in between. This is more of an industry industry solution for performance marketing or for like attribution. It's super nice for attribution without like you going into a lot of like programming or <clears throat> like you don't have to leave SQL to do these kind of joins and this is quite nice and it allows a lot of cool things because SQL normally doesn't allow for loops or for recursion. It uh, Those concepts are pretty neat to have. Now this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. If you have any questions feel free to write a comment. If you enjoyed it also feel free to like. Thank you and out.